Hello, it's me again. I wanted to show you my everyday go-to makeup routine that I'm really just like loving at the moment. We're just gonna have a little chit chat. I'm gonna talk through the products as I go through them. I do get ready with me's on TikTok quite a lot, but I don't often actually take the time to go through each makeup item I'm using. I have prepped my skin already. It's really dry at the moment. So hopefully this makeup look does end up looking cute and not patchy. So to moisturize my face, I just use bog standard Nivea Soft Eye I love this product. Eyebrows is the first step of my routine and the thing I probably get the most questions about. So I use a block of pear soap in a very, very crusty lush tin. I have washed this out so many times, so don't come for me. I spray once or twice into my setting spray so you can see it's a little bit wet. And then you just scrub around until you get like a white paste forming. You don't wanna go in the areas that are too wet. This is when you start getting that like foamy scum on your eyebrows. Make sure there's no moisturizer or product on your eyebrows cause that will not help. And then you just wanna start slowly brushing it through. You can go for the straight up soap brow if you prefer for like a much higher brow, but I just kind of like to drag everything in the same direction. I want it to look styled, but I want it to look like naturalish. And then I just take the flat end of the spoolie once I'm happy with it. And like that, lovely. I've never tried any products that are designed to do like this kind of thing because it's £1.69 for two bars of pear soap. Now my brows are looking gorge. It's time for primer. This is the e.l.f. Power Grip Primer. I think my usual beef with primers and moisturizers and other products is that I'm normally getting ready quickly in the morning. Like makeup hair in half an hour i don't have time to let the layers soak in and that's where everything starts looking really rubbish everything starts grabbing everything starts pilling i do have both of these i tried this first loved it then fell out of love with it then loved it again tried this loved it then stopped liking it as much if anyone has used both of these i'd be interested to know your thoughts obviously this is much more expensive it's nice and tacky. I've been cleaning out some of my old products from my old makeup bags, you know, just throwing stuff away that's expired or just like rotating things into my current makeup bag so that I'm not wasting. And I rediscovered one of my OGs, the MAC Strobe Cream in the shade Gold Light. It is so nice. I probably put too much on my hand, but I just like to do a little layer of this before my foundation because it's really, really hydrating. It just gives a really, really nice glow. I don't know if it's how it's meant to be used, but I like it as a mixing medium as well with concealer or foundation to make like a tinted moisturizer. You can tell these are my everyday products because they are just filthy. This has been one of my favorite products for a couple of years now. This is the Fenty Ease Drop Blurring Skin Tint. I'm wearing shade number six, which is my winter shade. It is a little bit too pale for me. I do normally wear shade number 11, but that's just a little bit too dark for me. I started using retinol, so now my face is really, really pale. This is supposed to be a skin tint, but I think it is more like a light coverage foundation. It is one of my favorite, favorite products ever. I've been using this for about two years now. You're either in a brush phase or a beauty blender phase, and I've gone back to my brush phase. I'm patting this in with a Real Techniques 241 foundation brush. The lighting is absolutely plain with me today the sun is bursting out the clouds one minute and then it looks like it's gonna rain so I apologize for the fluctuations next up is concealer if you've followed me a while you know this is my fave this is the makeup revolution conceal and define full coverage concealer this is in shade 10 this is about four pounds sometimes I will just omit the Fenty and just do straight up concealer as foundation because this is so nice and glowy next product is the Kevin Aquan sensual skin enhancer I discussed this briefly in my February favorites video look how little I put on the back of my hand and that is probably too much I got the shade SX10. I'm starting to learn that I'm a 10 in nearly all products that I use. It's a nice like medium neutral. Let me just get it on my face. This has so many uses. So I take it onto the back of my hand and I just pat a bit out onto my finger. I'm just going to dab it under my eye. Let me bring you in a little bit closer. Dab it under my eyes all the way up into there. This is a very high coverage product with multiple uses. You can mix it with a moisturizer and use it as more of like an all over skin tint. I just like to use this to like color correct any areas of redness I have like around my nose, 
or some slightly darker tones under my eye and like around my mouth. Very, very subtle difference, but I love it. And I especially love that product with nothing else on because you can just pat it into your face and go. It's a great like handbag product. I am gonna use a third concealer for a little bit of brightening. It's quite an unnecessary step, but I just have a tiny bit left in the bottle. So I'm just using it up. This is the e.l.f. 16 hour camo concealer. This is the matte finish one. And this is the shade Tan Latte Cafe Ole Bronze. I barely have any of this left and it is a little bit too light for the rest of my face. I used to really like this product, but I think it's a little bit thick for me now. So I just like to use it to brighten my under eyes. I also really, really like this brush. It's the 242 Concealer Brush from Real Techniques. I've seen this used online and it's called a kitten paw brush. Now I hear what you're saying. It's my everyday makeup routine and I'm using three different concealers and two primers and what have you and it's not very realistic. Let me tell you, I can blast through this in 20 minutes. I'm taking my time today because I'm spending time with you, I'm enjoying it. Because I aim for very your skin but better products and tend to go for quite close shade matches, feel like it's really hard for this to look cakey. So you don't really need to spend hours blending this one and hours baking. So for contour, I'm using the Primark foundation stick and I'm using the shade Chai. I'm not gonna lie, I was influenced into buying this. It is not the right product for me. I thought I really liked it, but it is far too warm. That being said, I have learned how to use it and I'm not interested in wasting it. And it's quite good value. I think it was £2.50 or £4. So I'm going to use it as much as I can until I find a contour I like better. To blend it in, I'm using a Real Techniques like stubby buffing brush, uh, brush number 200. As you've seen, I usually opt for cool toned like foundation, concealer, neutral at a push, um, and then cool toned contour and then I warm up with bronzer. Obviously this isn't the case here. I do a tiny little bit of contour on my nose but I don't really do it to make it look smaller. I just like that kind of like button look. You can't see this at all because it's all rubbed off but this is a Beauty Bay crayon eyeliner in the shade vanilla. I just use it to do a little T shape on the end of my nose. It's kind of like a reverse contour. While we're still on cream products, I'm gonna go to blusher. I rotate between these three blushes depending on my mood. So we've got the P. Louise Liquid Blush, the Glossier Cloud Paint in the shade Storm, and then the Body Shop Lip and Cheek Tint in the shade Pink Hibiscus. The P. Louise Liquid Blush is the shade Sun Kiss Mist. I got this cloud paint in the New York Glossier store I think in 2017 or 2018 and I still haven't run out. I like to blend it really high like onto my brow bone and right under my eye. I use this small stippling brush that really randomly and embarrassingly I got in a gift set at Christmas. You know just like them gift set presents you get from extended family. It's actually a Jack Wills makeup brush. I've got about five brushes from that set and they're actually all really good. I just don't know what the numbers are. I don't know what the set is. I got like a little makeup bag as well from it. This is all my cream products, so next it's time to powder. I use the H&B Cosmetics Soft Focus Loose Powder and a Trigwell Puff. I don't think the Trigwell Puffs are that necessary, but they're a cute fun purchase that make me feel really good. I tend to use the small one because this one is bloody huge. I put powder on the puff and then on the back of my hand because I don't like it to look too cakey, especially when my skin's being really dry, and I just press it in. Don't worry if you feel like you're doing too much. I do a small bit under my under eyes. I don't do like a full blot of powder because I don't like baking because my skin gets really dry. I feel like it makes me look creasier as well. You do not need the Laura Mercier powder. It is not that good. Do you know what? I bought it 37 pounds. How much is it? 37 pounds? Let me look up how much the Laura Mercier powder is. The Laura Mercier powder is 34 pounds. And I know it's a bit of a cult item. And when I bought it, I did exactly the same thing. I was like, it's so good. It's such a game changer but obviously I said that I just spent 34 pounds on it I didn't want to feel like I'd been robbed it always made me like a bit too like slinky powdery you know that like silicone feel you get from some primers I don't believe people when they say it makes you look poreless because nothing ever truly makes human skin look poreless except for a filter time for eyebrows I don't know what this is called it's a revolution like double-ended very very is it gonna come out it's about four pounds really really good 
really hard to do your eyebrows and talk. I just lengthen down here because you can see I get rid of the tail of my eyebrow. Right, and just do the other side. This eyebrow is always the better behaved eyebrow. I don't know what it is. What I like to do next is just take a random brush. Hopefully it's clean, I don't think it is, and just brush the powder off my face, like any excess. Then I take this trusty, crusty MAC 210, no, MAC 150. I use this for bronzer, I don't actually know what it's for. I've had this over 10 years. I think I took it from my stepmom. This is my favorite powder bronzer. I don't know how I'm ever going to replace it because they don't sell it anymore. It's a two pound Primark bronzer. It is just such a lovely color. I just go around the edges of my face. I don't often need to do this too much. Now I'm using that Primark other bronzer. Then I get this wee little blending brush from H&M and I just tap it into there a couple of times and I just do that straight line across the bottom of my nose and sometimes just a straight line across the top so then if i feel like i need it i might go in with a powder blush on top and this is the rimmel maxi blush in the shade wild card this is the most powerful blush i've ever used literally dab it in once sometimes i'll just use what's left over and then i'll just kind of sweep it onto my cheeks it is so potent and you can overdo it so quickly i might see if they do a peach one to match the p louise they do, but it looks a little bit pale. So I add fake freckles to all of my makeup looks because I just think it's irresistible and gorgeous. I just use a plain brown liner. I go in with a collection brown felt tip eyeliner, which is a bit darker, and I go in with a very light hand, and these ones tend to last all day. But it just gives it a little bit more like depth and layering, makes them look quite real, but I just tend to blot them because obviously quite dark. I haven't done setting spray or anything yet but this is how I do my makeup to go to work or if I was going out on the weekend but didn't want to do eyes and I wanted to put a little bit of makeup on. It seems like a lot but when I tell you I can get this done quickly in like 20 minutes this is what I do every day. I'm going to carry on with what I would consider my go-to everyday eye look. I don't wear this eye look every day so it sounds a bit backwards but this would be kind of the next step for my everyday makeup. This is just if you want like a little pizzazz. I would take my Revolution crayon brown just like eyeliner and just sketch a little wing. I often don't wear makeup on the weekends actually but if I was going out with a friend and I wanted to get ready and I wanted to look just you know a little bit nicer, I just wanted to do some eyes, going out for lunch or something, this is what I would do. You're just going to use a little square angle brush, this is one of those Jack Wills ones and you're just really roughly going to smudge that out. I'm going to use this Vive Eye Wand, um, this is the shade Coffee and you're just going to smudge it into the corner a little bit. You could just use a bronzer or even a black eyeliner or a brown shadow. The whole point of this is it's supposed to be easy. The brown makes it a really nice kind of light flirty everyday look but one thing about me is I want it to be dark so I'm just gonna tiny bit of black and also just tiny bit of my waterline. These are the lashes I'm using at the moment because I prefer a little light lash as opposed to something really heavy. These are ones I got on TikTok shop actually. Um, they're a three quarter mascara. I am using a travel size version of Benefit Bad Gal Bang. If you want added smoke or extra blending, tight lining your waterline on the top half of your eye just there under your lash with black or brown always really helps. When putting on lashes, I always use the tweezer to grab kind of like around the middle and you want to look kind of straight ahead, I try not to close my eyes because you can't really see where the lash is going to land. Look straight ahead and come from the top like that. Come from the top and just like wiggle where you think the lash will go. And then I just like to go in and you can sandwich and like stamp together the lash band closer to your lash line. That's the extra step for lashes. I'm just going to finish up with my setting spray. This is the Wee Cherie by The Beauty Crop. Then I'm going in with my actual favourite setting spray. This keeps your makeup on. This is the first setting spray I've had that I felt like it really actually does work. <laughs> They've changed the packaging for this now, but this is the best lip liner in the world. This is Cappuccino by Rimmel. Just a light sketch. 
blend it out a little bit with my finger. Now normally I would go in with my NARS Afterglow Lip Balm in the shade Dolce Vita. You can see that in like literally every single video I've ever filmed. It's like a really nice sheer pink like tinted lip balm. I've actually mislaid it and put it in like a coat or a bag or something so I can't really find it right now. So I'm gonna do what I was doing instead of that combo before I had it. So I would take the Body Shop Lip and Cheek Tint. To be honest, any cream blush will do. And I just do a little bit over that and dab it in. Over the top, just some good old fashioned Vaseline. Let me know what you think of my two part everyday makeup look. I really like it without the eyes to be fair. That's how I'm most used to my face. I feel very fancy with the eyelashes on. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I hope you enjoyed this video. It's like a little bit of a new style of video for me. I hate saying it, but remember to like, comment, subscribe, whatever. Follow me on Instagram, follow me on TikTok, whatever you like.